Hello and good morning everybody. This is another Let's Play of uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Indigo Disc. And I am, of course, I'm your host, Megalink Jolant. So uh, we are going to be taking on the Elite Four today. So first up on our, our today's to-do list is take on Crispin. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin. And you're, oh, one of the BB League challengers. That's why I'm here. Okay, you need to hand over 30 BPs to participate in the trial. Yes. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Hey, Crispin, an order just came up in for you. Coming right up. Ah, I saw you in the cafeteria. Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking a nice uh, simmer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this part. Follow me. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school. Now that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayden like you. And if I'm being honest, you kind of into uh, my curiosity, too. I should warn you, though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot they'll leave me breathing flames. And I know what you're thinking. Sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members to around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back here and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is the picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my elite trial? Sweet, give me a hot minute to get me everything set up. There are a lot of people here. First things first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you got all the ingredients to wick up your sandwich, give me a holler. Alright, let's start this now. Elite Trial. Make a super spicy sandwich. You don't have a single ingredient, huh? Alright, we're gonna be needing to talking to some people. Alright, let's start this off with a double battle. Super effective. Oh yeah, this trainer is going to be using two Pyroars. They're easy to take down with water or rock type attacks. I may have underestimated you. Uh, food puns. We might be encountering that. Oh, thanks for hitting us up. Okay, I don't think mayonnaise is cold enough.
Okay, not her. Uh, I can't go past those green, uh, uh, blue cones. Uh, I'll battle you for them. Yeah, so this guy will have jalapenos, so... Those are gonna be key ingredients to making that spicy sandwich. Torkoal and Blossom. Uh, yeah, I probably should mention that you can't really uh, switch your Pokemon here. Torkoal's gonna have to take some damage, but... Awesome painted. Okay, now he's using uh, Bioplume and Madmar. Ooh, almost. Super effective on Magma. That did it. <laughs> A whole lot of pain, yo. Thank you. Alright, next ingredient we need is, uh... Hot mayonnaise, jalapeno... I don't have those ingredients yet. Three ingredients if you answer right. Let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you get, do, I'll give you three ingredients. Mix eggs, oil, and vinegar. Uh, mayonnaise? Correct. Got an egg, olive oil, and vinegar. I don't think I have some uh, cucumbers yet. I still don't have potato salad. I think I've talked to her yet. Yeah, sure, I'll better you for potato salad. Camerupt and E. Electros.
chances are Electros will probably have like all of them other game, so. Camera up who goes down with one hit thanks to water attacks. I think we can trade that kid for the potato salad now. Okay, onion, cucumber, and puritoso. Okay, we need to trade cucumber for chili sauce for this one. You want some eggs? Trade for the mustard. Is that everything? Okay, I think I'm ready. Ready to start? Obviously, we're going to want to select all the ingredients. How do I just select? Or sandwich like this. Now 
Now, obviously, we're going to want to select all the jalapenos. Isn't that a masterpiece? Now the question is, will the judge like this? And the answer is... Yes! He approves! Woo! This isn't spicy anymore. It's just pain. I'm burning all up all the way inside. Even the spiciest of souls would love that super spicy sandwich. You know what? I think I can already give you my verdict. You pass. That was absolutely perfect. Your sandwich brought heat to like nothing else. That's what we like to hear. Uh, take a screenshot for a good measure. Well, that wraps up the trial, so now it's time to face me in an elite battle. Are you all prepared to take me on? You bet. Coming right up. Watch out, because I'm cranking up the heat. So, if there's any uh, messy history between you and Kieran, huh? I take it, uh, it seems that Drain uh, cooking up something fishy, too. Ah, everything's so get complicated, why can't you just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating on small stuff. I want to battle because I want to battle. You know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin of the Elite Four. Reb, he... he here in the Savannah Biodome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. You are challenged by Crispin of the BB League Elite Four. Okay, he's using a Talon Flame and a Heat Rotom. As you may have suspected, uh, he's using Fire types. Water, ground, and uh, rock types are going to be well uh, recommended here. Power gem will be four times effective against Talon Flame. really get to toss off our flames with keep, keep using moves like that. Especially since Aqua Step so raises some um, Quack of uh, speed. Hey on the peacock all you want. I actually like this bird. Focus Sash, huh? Executor. I hate to do this, but Sludge Wave go.
right now he's using a camera up and a mag mortar. He really th th threw us off there with an executor. Fainted. Hmm. Guess I'll fight fire with fire. And he's using Blaziken. Probably gonna terrestrialize. Guess I will too. Time to terrestrialize and turn up the heat. Go Blaziken, burning bright red. I knew he'd be terrestrializing. Where did all that damage come from? Oh, a critical hit. And down Blaziken goes. And we just defeated Crispin of the Elite Four. I wanted to win, but I lost. Whew, that was amazing. We cranked up the heat all the way up, huh? I love battles, and I love cooking, because uh, they're both easy to understand. In battles, you either win or lose. With cooking, it, it, the dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood of the league club feels, I don't know, so frustrating. I wish I could uh, go back to being the club uh, we were before. But hey, didn't mean uh, to douse those flames there. You're really strong. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. Alright, trial complete. I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Ooh, Temper Flare. Spurred by desperation, the user uh, attacks the target with move power that is doubled from the previous move. I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything else besides what I'm cooking. All I can say is crank up the heat on all you want on in the BB League. Yo, champ in the making. That's one of the Elite Four members beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. That's the kind of part of his charm, you know. 
We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking club activities after we left. Those were the days. Yes, uh, he's been worrying about the way things are t in his own way. You might be jumping, uh, you just might be the one to, we need to shake things up here in the league. That's from me. Good luck we're with the remaining three. Yeah, that, him being one of them. Okay, who's up next in our Adeus? I guess we'll go here next. Just switching my Pokemon here. We have just arrived at the Canyon Biodome. Hey, Alolan Geodude. Hmm. Caught the wild Tyro off guard. Let's see if we can catch it real quick.
Hmm, Duraludon's a rare Pokemon, so let's, uh... Let's go there. Caught one. Yeah, sorry, I completely forgot. Back to our main destination. Just earning some BB points along the way. We might need them in as a payment to, to participate in the trial. Ooh, a Dawnstone. That's a rare evolution item. arrived at our destination. Canyon Plaza. Uh, where's the uh, hero machine? Remember right, but this member of the Elite Four steel specializes in steel types. Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Amaris of the Elite Four. And you're one of the BB League challengers, right? Yes, we need to pay uh, League Point. Uh, blueberry Points. Duly received and noted. 
Now, here she comes, our very own Amaris. Forgive me, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Ah, yes. As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A challenge, a change of location is required. Quant come. What's she gonna have us do? The decision will work to allow you to take on it. The league was irregular. An exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the academy allowed it, and the ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out your my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. A trial I devised starts right here. I call my challenge the fl Flying Time Trial. You'll need to fly around the terrarium using a flying Pokemon to reach the goal with precision time and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite rings and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible to fly towards the goal. You can verify that you are ready and willing to take on my trial? Yes, I am. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon on the right on bring it. Please bring it out. Yes, we already got one. Coridon for Scarlet version and Maridon for Violet version. Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. And it's I guess, right? Coridon is brimming with power. Uh, it's called a Coridon, not an Argus. I prepared you using some uh, the leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. And your Pokemon and your Argus will uh, be uh, will be able to soar through the skies as it please. Okay, how to play? Try to reach the goal within the time limit by flying on Coridon's back. I wish you luck. Okay, so this is going to be my first time attempting this, so if I mess up, so bear with me. Where's the rest of the rings? Ah. Yeah. I knew I wouldn't get it the first time.
Take on the elite time flying tri flying time trial. You can actually restart this. Duh. Nice. Took me a while, but I finally got the controls down. That was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you cleared my elite trial. Now a location a change of location is required once again. Come. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Ready as I'll ever be. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Position assumed. What is she, a robot? There's one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you? He's my friend. So you consider him a friend, I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. And neither can I. Our battle starts now. You are challenged by Amaris of the Elite Four. Yep, I was right. She's using steel types. And she's starting off with a Doug Trio and uh, a Skarmory. This Alola Doug Trio is part steel type, so it'll be no problem for a fire type.
Thankfully, all our Pokemon should be at a higher level. Uh-oh. Ooh, I did not see that coming. Ooh. Unfavorable map type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses are fogged up. Uh, focus Sash. Of course. Uh oh, it's using Stealth Rock. That's gonna be a problem. Electivire can take on Skarmory. Can use a Max Revive on Charizard. Vacuum Wave hits first. Oh, she's using an Empoleon. Interesting. Ooh, almost. Thunderbolt on Skarmory. It's super effective. And it's sturdy kicks in. Okay, Charizard. Back into the fray. Both of them go down. A Rhea Nicholas? That's interesting. And a Scizor. Let's use Heat Wave to take care of them both. Max Potion to heal up. The Coco Berry weakened the uh, Fire-type moves, but not by enough. Scizor goes down. And Lucario goes down. Must have had a Reuniclus in case of fighting type moves. I'm making the right call by this. Time is short. Let's wrap this up. And of course, he terrestrializes too. Down in one shot.
Metabros never stood a chance. Wrap this up. I am not enough, I see. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects on the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to care up, help Kieran is great, evidently greater than my own. No, you clear, you care plenty. You truly are a kind person. All right then, time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory is here so commemorated. I'll give you this TM. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. It is up to you to help Kiran. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. Yo, champ in the making. So that's two of the Elite Four members down already. You sure are crushing it. Amory sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild to see her and Carmine talk. You'll never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amory is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak as a uh, mile wide. Remember how about that about her, okay? Even if it's hard for, to tell from the outside. Seems like going well with the BB League, right? What's up, mighty champion? Scooping out the competition? I was getting worried. I was so disappointed that he had gotten lost, gotten weaker. But I see you're strong as ever, thankfully. All the way to go. Don't go losing. I can't show how strong I've gotten if you don't make it to me. <laughs> Something as good as riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? Better not keep you. Keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining two. I guess it's time to heal up again. I think we should fast travel for the next one. Heal up.
Okay, best girl Lacey is gonna be up next. Let's see if we can try and earn some BB points along the way. What was the... Uh, So that's what happens if you do that by mistake. Nice, caught a saws bug. I don't think I have this Pokemon yet. So let's catch it. Okay, that's enough spitting seeds at me. Nice! Critical catch.
Okay, that was funny. Slack Ops, this is nothing nothing personal. Uh, no you're not, pal. You're not part of the Elite Four. There are a lot of items around. Easy to get distracted. Like I said, easy to get distracted. Okay, from what I remember right, uh, Lacey specializes with uh, fairy types. I got a couple steel types just in case. Oh, team for a light screen. Nice. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team uh, that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. Oh, and you're one of the BB League challengers, right? Good thing we stopped up on uh, BB League points on our way here. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Do they all say that? We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Coming. If it isn't you, I'm glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you where our to start the trial site. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested against you joining the BB League. Of course, it's true that it's quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly I didn't want to, you to get dragged into the drama that's been uh, troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, so let's uh, go have some fun. A Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you answer them all correctly, you pass. Okay, let's test our knowledge. Okay, I'll just get everything ready. Alright, All right, here we go. And look at everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. Question 1. Pikachu is an electric Pokemon, uh, well known for producing electricity within its body. Which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? If I know my Pikachu... It's Cheeks. You got it! Pikachu stores electricity in its uh, electric sacs in its cheeks. If you poke the sacs, it'll get, get a little shock. <laughs> Alright, question two. 
Take a look at Venonat. It's bigger than you'd uh, think it would be, right? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. Here we go. Question two. Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like a radar, which allows it to detect its objects. Hmm. It's also Gen 1 Pokemon, so if I remember right... It's eyes. That's correct. All right, next question. Getting weary of my quest, how about a cup of uh, tea or maybe three Sinistee siblings? It says he would like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies here, so it's hard to tell the genuine. Which of these three synesty is an antique form in, in a, a meaning found in a real antique cup? Oh boy. All of us so similar. I remember this one. I'm gonna say the one in the middle. Huh, I was right. You spotted it. Mark on the bottom of its cup. Hmm. Alright, next question. This is Meteor. This is the Meteor Pokemon. Meteor. It comes in all the different colors, you know. Okay, I think it was this one. Yep. Got on my first try. You did it. Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Last question. Oh boy. Here comes Gramble. Maybe you heard it of the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Question 5 will involve Gramble here. Gramble is quite a delicate and lovable Pokemon. Of course, you can tell by this. When I take a nap by adorable Gramble, which part of my body do I use as a pillow? Uh, I'm gonna say it's funny. Did I get them all right? Yep. She says it's funny. That ends my quiz. Answered all five of my questions, correct? That correct? Congratulations, you pass. And a screenshot for good measure. Why don't we head back to the plaza? Since you passed my trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. Uh, sure. Let's move straight into it. 
Let's get into positions. This should be a far, have a far enough. Right, let me properly introduce myself for, for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I didn't expect to get a qu challenge uh, quite from you. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. Uh, so let's see. First of all, I should tell you, it's mostly fairy Pokemon. And there's nothing more ad adorable than pink fairy po fa fairy, right? Since they're weak to poison and steel, anything to anything to cause it or cutting them just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all of that already. Yep. Now for this battle. I'm not going to hold back. I want to be sure that you walk away with a proper understanding after all. You're about to learn the, that cuteness is real strength. I'm not going to hold back either. Use a and Gramble. Using Lucario and uh, Glamora. Time for, uh, this time I'll be facing with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. Okay, so like she says, fairy types are weak against steel and uh, and poison. I'm gonna use Sludge Wave against both Whimsicott and Gramble. Since Lucario sparks steel, it won't have any effect. Unless something like that happens. Let me guess, Focus Sash. That's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be returning it right back at you. Nice. If I keep up this strategy, I should have plowed through our team in no time. Of course, let's not low down our lower our guard. A slow bro. Hmm. I think I got another, uh... I think I got another steel type. Flamethrower, I was not expecting that. Ah! So yeah, her Slowbro will know uh, Flamethrower to deal with Steel types. Not very effective against Corviknight. Thankfully, it doesn't have much special attack. Alright, back to Glamora. Wave does not be effective against Corviknight since it's also a steel type. <laughs> I 
since he's using a Pararima. It's a uh, water and uh, fairy type Pokemon, so. Now I better heal up uh, Glamora just in case. Will that light screen wear off? Now that's a critical hit. There goes my strategy. Super effective. Now why do you have to land a hit like that? That's just not right. Sorry, I told you I wasn't holding back. That takes care of the freaky slow bro. Bringing out that Excadrill again. Big terrestrial heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. And of course, we use it on extra drill. Super effective. Escadrill goes down. Now I'm starting to think my Glamora doesn't have the right ability, Corrosion. And with that, we've defeated Lacey of the Elite Four. I hate losing, but I love seeing such a cute Pokemon. Did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? I almost forgot. Oh, it's almost too much. They're just so cute, even for me. <laughs> the cutest Lacey. No, wrong. I'm not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Uh, sorry, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Your Pokemon were really cute as well. You know, it's just not right for two people to hog all the cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle in a, 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 the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture? This is just too cute. I'm going to make myself a, a backup copy or three. 
I'll give you this as well as proof of our, your cuteness. Alluring voice. You're really strong when you get serious in battle. I wonder how far you'll be able to get off facing off against the strongest trainers in their school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Yo, champ in the making. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced to now. I'm seeing how far you get making me uh, sweat a little. You see, he's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her, her make her Pokemon stronger. She's into her team. Training uh, little cuties uh, even feel doesn't, doesn't even feel like even worth her a while, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone to run him into uh, the ground just to get stronger. Now, Lacey's uh, polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. But you know, bud, seeing your skills close up in uh, personal really leaves uh, an inspiration. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess... Uh, your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Alright, let's heal up. Okay, since uh, he's going to be using dragon types, it only makes sense to fight dragons with dragons and fairies. Sorry, Ogre Pond, you're gonna have to take a back seat. Okay, now where's Drayton? Wait, he was n number two? Hmm. Scald. Where's the camera button again?
Lapras is a rare Pokemon, so let's catch that one. Uh, or not. work. Yes! Netball's good for water and bug types, after all. I wonder if I had a dive ball. That would have been more, uh, just as effective. Anyway, we got ourselves a Lapras. One of the many Pokemon that's just impossible to hate. I'll have to catch some more Pokemon on an off-screen time. Well, we've arrived. Uh, let's switch our, pony our party real quick. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that sponsors Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're one of the challengers, right? You need to hand over a 50 BP if you want to take on the trial. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. My friend, it gets here free. Are you sure? The rules say... Just change it to my account. That ought to take care of it, right? That's not... Okay, I'll make an exception. Thanks, my man. Aw, oh, thanks, man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. Nah, it's basically the same color as the other plaza, so just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you expect from a dragon type user, right? <laughs> anyway, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Let's not listen and let me ramble. Let's hop onto it. Terranium only battles. Let's cover three, four, three of, of your fellow elite club members in battle. Simple, right? Let's call it Terranium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that you meet to two conditions. First, they gotta be uh, caught uh, living in the wild of the Terranium. Second, you have to be the one who caught them. Huh. So, our, uh, party's, uh... Let's try it anyway. My trial's about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. 
Everyone, give it your best shot. Well, it looks like the official trial has begun, but unfortunately, none of my Pokemon uh, have uh, have the capability. So I'm going to be right back, and uh, I'll have maybe have to do a part two. But uh, I don't know. I will check in with you guys later as soon as I do a another. Uh, as I get some the Terranium Pokemon. Okay, folks, I am back. After a bunch of off-screen grinding time, catching and leveling up uh, Terranium-only Pokémon, I hope I'm ready to use these Pokémon as uh, to complete my trial. Oh, uh, before I forget, I need to put away Quackavacle because uh, that was my starter Pokémon for this uh, game. So, I mean, back when it was still a Quaxley, of course. So I'm afraid uh, using him won't count. Okay, let's start with this guy. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones. Ready to battle me? Oh, great. Good luck to the both of us. You are challenged by Craig the Student. Ah, I get it. He's supposed to have some sort of pun to his name, huh? Huh. Okay, he's using a Bastiodon and a Rampardos, the iconic uh, fossil Pokemon from Sinnoh. I'm using a Lapras and a Flygon. Uh, let's use Water Pulse on Rampardos and use Earth Power on Bastiodon. Super effective. Four times effective since it's uh, ground and uh, steel. Of course, uh, sturdy. Using water pulse. Uh oh, head smash. Aw oh, man, down with one hit. Rampardos was damaged by recoil. Ha ha, that's what you get. That's not very effective. Go Magmar. Okay, you're not going to survive this time. Pokemon are like gems. Alright, that's one down. I better heal up Lapras just in case. Okay, let's see what the, this one has. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Uh, not yet. Let me change my party first. Just checking Lapras's moveset real quick. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Heh. <laughs> 
you're on. You are challenged by Winter the Suit. Lapras versus an Electabuzz. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna switch Lapras. Lapras return. Go Magmar! Use Thunderbolt on Dugon. Ooh, almost. Okay, using Flamethrower on Sand Slash because it's an Alona form. It's Ice and Steel, so... So Fire types are four times effective. Using Thunderbolt again on Dugon. Super effective. Dugong goes down. Magmar used Flamethrower. Super effective. Opposing Sand Slash fainted. Defeated Winter the Student. <laughs> if that wasn't a dead giveaway for uh, using Ice types, I don't know what was. I can see why Drayton likes you. Yeah, with a name like Winter, who wouldn't deal with ice types? Okay, last but not least, this guy. You know, Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her. Ready for a shock? Uh, once again, let's uh, switch up our party. I'm gonna switch my items real quick, too, so... Okay. You know, you don't know the... Yeah, yeah. I read the dialogue before. Now I'm ready. Here we go, zap. Challenged by Ray the Soon. Okay, he's using a Magnazone and a Zebstrika. I'm using a Flygon and a Golark. Zebstrika used Stomp. Flygon used Earth Power. Super effective on Magnazone. And it has Sturdy. Golark used Earthquake. It doesn't affect Flygon because of its ability to levitate. So that's good to have. Super effective on both. And both go down at once. <laughs> Defeated Ray the Student. That was electrifying, all right. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three. Nice! You went and beat all three of them! Which means this elite trial is complete. Alright. Elite trial complete when the terrainium only battles. Cleared! Take a screenshot for good measure. Alright, my elite club assistants, retreat. On the double! Goodbye, goodbye, see ya. Good battle. They're great. Aren't they great? No grumbling, nor nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Yep. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. I guess you're still using the party you put uh, together for my challenge, though, huh? Go ahead, take a sec to change it up. Or unless you want to dive right into the battle. Uh, not yet. No rush. Got it. God, no rush on my end. 
Yeah, I want to switch my party just in case. Now, I mean, now that the elite trial's over anyway. I think I'll keep Lapressing for good measure. Ah, wrong button. Who to use? Mm, I guess I'll add Charizard in there. We'll give uh, Quackle Fockle a uh, mystic, uh, mystic Water. I always like to do that for my starters. Give a power boosting item to their types. Okay, chances are Drain's going to use uh, mainly Dragon types, so it's good to have a couple of Fairy types just in case. Okay, I think I'm ready. Ready to take me on, bud? All right, it's on. Looks like I can use uh, my original party after all. Hmm, here should be good. You know, I was thinking about uh, the look you get when you've been, you're in battle, and I realized I've only seen you like that from the sidelines. I guess now it's time to face you across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it. You gotta pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out. But there's no, no need for us to get official or anything. Just battle me normally like you would anybody else. Here's 100% the Dracer truth. So, I'm psyched. I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. You are challenged by Drayton of the Elite of the BB Elite 4. Flygon and Dragonite. I'm using Backscalibur and Lapras. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me uh, ugly cry. Don't you mean cry ugly? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, Ice Beam uh, hypothetically should take care of both of them at once. I lost some of its HP. Whoa, not bad. A lot of t not a lot of types can eat me at a super effective hit. Actually, Barry was used up. Ah! Of course, I was not counting on that. Okay, um... Go Tinkaton!
Flygon lost some of HP. Must be a life orb. Nice! Flygon goes down. Okay, he's using a Haxorus now. Uh, I can't risk it. Using Max, so max Potions. Stream speed's not very effective. Oh, why am I not surprised it's using the earthquake again? Max Potion again. Again, it's a good thing I stocked up on items. Dragonite goes down. Kingdra? Oh, this ought to be interesting. Okay, Haxorus has got to go. You just hit your own comrade. Ooh, so close! That's a Focus Sash, of course. Time to recover again. Doused by Hydro Pump. Excalibur goes down. Super effective on Kingdra. Okay, using another fairy type. Huh? Septile. Wasn't expecting that. I just hope he doesn't have any steel type moves. <sighs> Called it.
Charizard used flamethrower. <sighs> Rain. Flamethrower's attack post cut in half. Uh oh, that can't be good. Weakness policy. Dragon cheer. Uh oh. Haxorus is getting pumped. Okay, I really gotta take care of Haxorus. Finally, Haxorus goes down. About time the rain stopped. Arlacodon. Oh, that's the new evolution of uh, Duraludon. Now watch this dragon's blood boil. Take control. Arlacodon. Sorry if I'm still pronouncing it wrong. Yep, I thought he was going to use a uh, terrestrialization. Nice. Sceptile goes down. Defense rose. Sceptile fainted. Play rough. Super effective. Ready to blast to get blasted to smithereens. Won't leave you running. Electro shoot. Uh oh. Attack Rose. Uh, chances are, I don't know what this move does, but chances are it's going to use a big hit. I got to take care of this right now. Dragon Breath. Super effective. And it goes down. You defeated Drayton of the VP Elite Four. Whew. Even with Pokemon at 100, uh, at level of 100, it's still a challenge. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to the BB to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess you... And I guess if you can beat me, we'd better make you a full member finally. What do you say? Ready to, to be the real deal? You bet. <laughs> Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's grab a fo get a photo of the, for you for the club rooster. Roster. Elite Force Drain defeated. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo, but she may not be thrilled, but oh well. I do feel like there was one more thing uh, I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, give you this TM, whoever can beat us in Elite Four members. Gotta go grab it, wait a sec. Guess he didn't have it on him. Sorry for the hold up, I'm back. That's the BB League's all four beaten. You schooled every elite one of us. Here's a reward, like I said. You obtained a Dragon Tear. Cheer. User raises its allies' morale with a Draconic Cry, so their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. I guess that... I guess I should have cleaned it, but... What's well, a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked you and you plowed through the whole bleak BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all, all elite four of us. And so you've only got one. Uh, you so you and 
only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. Uh, speaking of whom, you really kept me waiting. So you, you took a doll. You took a. Uh, took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. Really got him uh, on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Trayton. You sure put a lot of helping him out. Who wouldn't have helped out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. So, let's see who's the strongest between the two of us once and for all. Guess it's finally time I'm pumped for you. We'll have to sign you up at the front desk for the champion match going. No sense in waiting. Let's go. Alright. You heard him. Next stop, the champion. Finally time to face Kieran and find out once and for all what's been going on. Well... Until then, I hope you can join me for the next video when we finally face Kieran. Until then, Megalink Jolon signing off. The game counter is closed. Have a nice rest of your day, Mega Fans. Hey, Mega Fans. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share this video. It would help me out a lot. Also, follow me on my social media, such as my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch channel for my live streams, and more. And if possible, leave a tip to support me on Ko-fi and Patreon. Thanks for watching again, and until then, MLJ signing off. Until next time, Megalink fans.